Let's balance the equation for HNO3 plus H2S. This is nitric acid and this is hydrogen sulfide. So to balance the equation, first thing we need to do is count the atoms up. I've already done that, but the thing to be careful about, we have one hydrogen here and then the two here, one plus two, that'll give us three of those. In the products, we have the two oxygens here and the one here. Two plus one, that gives us three. So make sure you count those up correctly starting out. So everything looks good except the hydrogens. We have three hydrogens in the reactants, two in the products. The way to approach this is we're going to leave the sulfur to last because it's by itself. We change its coefficient. That won't change anything. Why don't we try to get the hydrogens to an even number here? And the easiest way to do that is to put a 2 in front of the HNO3. Let's update the hydrogens. So we have 1 times 2 plus the 2 here. That gives us four hydrogen atoms. So we have an even number here, one times two. We have two nitrogens and three times the two. Now we have six oxygens. But we can fix the hydrogens by putting a two in front of the water. Two times two, that'll give us four. We do need to update the oxygens. So we have two here plus the two times the one plus the two. That gives us four. We're getting close. If we put a two in front of the NO2, one times two, That'll give us two nitrogens. Those are balanced. Let's update the oxygens again. We have two times two, that's four, plus we have two times one, that's two, and we're done. This equation is balanced. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for HNO3 plus H2S gives us NO2 plus H2O plus S. Thanks for watching.